Hello everybody, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are finally going to be going through all of my empties. I have a ton this uh, video. I even have some more stuff sitting on my desk that I couldn't fit in here because this was just absolutely overflowing. But I'm very excited to finally be going through all this stuff and being able to throw it away because I have been having things pile up. Like my drawer that I have my empties bin in has just been open and I've just been piling things on top of it because I cannot fit anything else in here. So right on top, I have some of these like cotton rounds. These were from Swispers and these ones were just like the basic ones from Target. I use these every day to take off my makeup with some like Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, which I'm sure we will have one or two minis in there. But yeah, I really like these just to remove my makeup and yeah, they're super good. Definitely would recommend them as a way to remove your makeup. Then I have a ton, a ton, a ton of hand sanitizers. I have them like in my bag, in my boyfriend's car, in my car on my keys so I have a ton of them we will probably also stumble across a couple more of those but I have this one which is pineapple coconut these are all from Bath and Body Works by the way because I have like the holder on my key and they're always on sale so I'm always picking them up when they're on sale um but this one is pineapple coconut I really remember enjoying that one this one is gingham this is another really really good one it's a pretty nice clean scent um, this one is winter, which I liked. It was a little bit sort of pine needle-y, which, you know, isn't my absolute favorite scent, but it definitely was really good. So I liked that one. And then this one was marble. This one was in my boyfriend's car. This is so like strong smelling like cologne, like it's mahogany teak wood, but like times 5,000. So I don't think I would pick this one up again. Um, you know, it was fine. Obviously the product worked well, but it just wasn't like my favorite scent that I've ever used. So that's that. Then I have a wallflower, and this one I think was in the scent Mahogany Teakwood or Crisp Morning Air. Um, either one of those, those are my two favorite scents to have in my room. I think that they're super good. Um, also, Mahogany Coconut. It's like Mahogany Teakwood with like a little bit of coconut in it. That one also smells really good. So I just had a wallflower. I have this Dove Advanced Care Moisturizers Deodorant. This is the one that I use every single day. Um, I've been using it for years and it's really, really good. Unfortunately, like I have tried more natural deodorants before, but and ones that were aluminum free, like this version, but like the zero aluminum. But for me, I just need like like an antiperspirant I just can't get behind using like a regular deodorant I feel like I need an antiperspirant also it's just uncomfortable but this one is a really good one so definitely enjoy that one then I have my favorite favorite shave oil the tree hut ones this one is in the scent Tahitian vanilla bean right now I have the one that's like tropical glow that one smells really good and I enjoy that one for the summertime but this one Tahitian vanilla bean has gone through multiple of these before and it's a really really good shave oil especially um because I find that some shaving creams or if you're using a conditioner or anything on your legs can sort of clog up a razor but this is like a nice sort of more thin moisturizing oil and I have here um a little pack of lashes I use the ones from Lankiz I will try to link them down below or if I forget just ask me they're the ones that I have on right now I've had these ones on for probably like a week and I've just reapplied the ends a couple of times but yeah I really like them I just find that they're super good I use them with like the Kiss Falscara adhesive and the Kiss like overnighter and I find that they last a really long time and I think that these are super pretty obviously you can't see them in here but yeah I've used up one of these I have a bunch of them on the go right now because I only use like you know one of the 10 millimeter which is like the shortest one on my inner corner so like I go through some of them shorter so I have like a bunch that are open that I need to kind of mix and match but slowly I'm working my way through them emptying them out but yeah so I have that one which is really good definitely recommend those lashes and I have a couple of skincare products. I have this from Dermalogica. This is the Daily Microfoliant. The, this, I always keep one of these in my shower. Right now, I actually have the Superfoliant in my shower, and I really like that one, and I think I would repurchase that one over the Microfoliant. I find that it just makes my skin, especially, like, on my nose, where like, a little bit more of an issue with, like, blackheads and my pores sort of filling up with sebum and oils and stuff like that. I find that the Superfoliant is really good, but I did use up the Microfoliant, which I also really enjoyed. Then I have this Bliss Drench and Quench Cream to Water Hydrator. This is a really good, nice, lightweight sort of gel moisturizer. I would repurchase it, I think. I did enjoy it. I just have a ton of skincare right now, but it was really, really good. Then I have a bunch of these little mini things, like little mini tester type of products. I have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow and Niacinamide Dew Drops. I did really enjoy this and I would consider picking it up, just not in the market for any skincare right now. And then I have this little like set from CosRx. It has like, the Ultimate Spot Cream, the Calming Liquid Intensive like AHA thing, and then the Lightweight Soothing Moisturizer. It was very intense, smelled very highly of like tea tree and stuff like that. But yeah, it was pretty good. I don't know if I would purchase it myself, but it was just, you know, pretty fun to try out. 
Then I have this from Lancome. This is the Hydrazen Gel Cream Hydrant Moisturizing Cream Gel. This was pretty good. It was just, you know, a very basic moisturizer. Probably very, very expensive considering it's Lancome and I don't know. It was fine. I didn't hate it, didn't love it, but it was just just a skincare product. Then I have this from Derma E. This is the Ultra Lift DMAE Concentrated Serum. I really like anything that has peptide. It's one of like my favorite skincare ingredients and I feel like it's the one thing that like I feel like makes a difference in my skin. That's one ingredient that my skin gets along really well with and I feel like it's actually doing something. So I definitely would consider repurchasing this as a serum, but yeah, it was really, really good. Again, Derma E Ultra Lift Concentrated Serum. Very, very good. Highly recommend that. Then one of my favorites, which one day I will purchase this in the full size. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This smells good. I've used the water cream. Right now I'm actually using a travel size of the Indigo Cream, which I think might be my favorite. It doesn't, it's not as heavily fragranced as the Dewy Skin Cream, but it's a little bit more hydrating than the watery or water cream. I really, really like the Indigo Cream. Uh, but yeah, this one was the Dewy Skin Cream. So good. I probably have like one or two of these in here. Um, or maybe I had one in like my last empties, but yeah, that was really good and I would recommend that if you, you know, have a little bit of a, a bigger budget to shop for skincare, but really liked that one. Little micellar cleansing water. This is the Garnier Skin Active um, All-in-One Waterproof. It's like the blue cap one. I find that this is the best one to remove, especially eye makeup, which I don't really wear eye makeup too much anymore, specifically mascara, just because I'm always doing like the Kiss lashes or Amazon lashes with the Kiss adhesive. Um, so I don't really wear mascara ever, but I do find that this is just really good. I've been using it forever. It doesn't cause any issues with like my skin breakouts or anything like that. So definitely enjoy that one. Then I actually have some supplements here. I have the Sugar Bear Hair Vitamins. I wanted to try it out. So, and I think they were like on sale at some point. So I have two bottles of these. Did it do a lot? I don't really know. I feel like I need to try it out for like longer and I just kind of like started taking them. I didn't really like, you know, do before and after and like I cut my hair and gotten it done a couple of times. Um, I haven't used them in a while. I actually used these up like a, probably a couple of months ago. If I were looking for another supplement, these tasted really good and people say that they do like it. So I don't know, maybe I will have to try it like more in the long run, but it was pretty good. They taste so good. Oh my gosh, I like, looked forward to taking this every day so delicious and they smell amazing um yeah so i tried those up and then these were just my regular vitamins it's the one a day women's gummies these are just the ones that i take every day um this is like regular vitamins so i would recommend them they're pretty good don't have any issues i know some people can have like stomach sensitivity um if you're taking vitamins like they can make you feel nauseous or any sort of issue with your stomach but i don't have any issues with those so if you're looking for something maybe check those out then I have a primer here. This is the Stila One Step Correct Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Primer. One of my favorite primers ever. I actually am working on another one right now that is almost empty. And yeah, it's so good. I absolutely love that primer. So definitely would recommend it and I would definitely repurchase it. I have another Garnier uh, Micellar Cleansing Water. I have these mini ones because I bought like a couple of I bought like a couple of packs of like these travel ones because I was traveling a couple times this year so I knew that I would want to have some travel ones and they're just easier to keep like on my nightstand and stuff like on my desk like it takes up less space than the bigger ones so I've been enjoying the small ones but I know it's a lot more waste with the plastic so I don't know, have to figure that but I mean I'm pretty sure you can recycle these yeah you can recycle them so it's okay I have another wallflower I think this one I think the white cap is mahogany teakwood oh yeah Ooh, actually, I don't know. I think this is Mahogany Teakwood and the first one I had was Crisp Morning Air. Again, really love these and I have them in my room all the time. Then I used up a setting spray. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This was just a little mini bottle. I would definitely repurchase this. I do have quite a few setting sprays in my collection right now, so I'm not looking to purchase any of them at the moment. But yeah, this one was really good and I definitely would recommend it as a nice like long wearing setting spray. Very similar to like Urban Decay All Nighter type of product. Guys, right, so we still have a ton of products. Uh, on here i guess let me go through some of like my hair care stuff um i have this bright shampoo color if you watched my video where i was talking about how i like my hair care routine you'll know that i mentioned this product in there it's so good as a very very pigmented purple shampoo i still have a conditioner and a hair mask as well but this will this will turn your hair purple but for me who has naturally very brassy hair when it's bleached this is the only thing that works on my hair and that actually keeps it toned so Definitely would recommend this if you're having issues with your hair turning brassy very easily. This was really, really good. Then I have the Olaplex number no. four P Blonde Enhancer Toning Shampoo. This is to me unnecessary. It's does it does like the same toning effect as like shimmer lights. 
if you've ever used that before. It's like a more affordable purple shampoo. It didn't really add much pigment to my hair and I find that it it's fine. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of getting over Olaplex products. I have a quite I have quite a few still like in overstock and stuff in my collection, but I don't think I'm going to really be repurchasing anything. The only thing that I think really is worth it is the hair oil and I really do enjoy the oil. But yeah. It's okay. The rest of it is fine. Like the shampoo and conditioner, I feel like I don't I don't really need more like the leave-in products are the ones that I would recommend if you wanted to try anything from Olaplex. So yeah, I had that shampoo. Um, then I have this Kristen S. Purple shampoo. This is actually really good. I brought this with me traveling, and then I just used the rest of it up in the shower when I got back. Um, I think I got this in like May, and I used this up in not very long because it's a pretty small bottle, but this is actually pretty close to here. It is very, very purple, not as like color depositing as the bright one, but it definitely does get the job done and helps my hair stay toned when I'm traveling. So definitely going to be picking up another one of these. If you guys want me to do like a little shop with me, um, probably tomorrow, actually, I think I'm going to go to Target and with my boyfriend, I'm going to do some shopping, getting like a bunch of little travel stuff, some last minute things because I'm leaving on Friday. Today's Monday when I'm filming this, but we're leaving Friday for our trip to California. So my first time on the West Coast, I live in New York, if you guys were wondering. So it's going to be a long flight and we're going to be there for 10 days. We're going to like Disneyland, Universal, um, then we're going to San Diego, we're going to the Home Run Derby at Dodger Stadium. So very, very packed trip, um, but I'm super excited for it. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing a like shop with me for my travel stuff. But anyway, this is really good. Then I have this from Bath & Body Works. This is the Champagne Toast Shower Gel. It takes me forever to go through body wash. I don't know why, but this smells so good. One of my absolute favorite scents. It's pretty sweet, not very champagne-y. I feel like it's more fruity than anything. Yeah, I really love it and I would definitely repurchase that. Then we have a couple more hand sanitizers in here. I have Crisp Morning Air, which I mentioned is my favorite. Different than the Crisp Morning Air that is in the, the room things. That one is more cologne-y. This one is more just like like apple I guess like it's it's very equivalent to like a crisp apple type of scent and I find that it's so fall and it gives me such like a nostalgic feeling for some reason but I absolutely love that one. Oh, and then I even have another one so as you can see this is my favorite one and I think I just put one more of these on my car keys so you'll see more of this coming up in my next empties video whenever that happens in the next couple of months uh, but yeah really really like that one. I think this is the last wallflower this one looks like crisp morning air because it has a black cap yeah definitely crisp morning air Oh, so good. This one, the crisp morning air in like the wallflowers, they're so much more like wintry, I guess. And it just reminds me of Christmas time. So really love that. And it's making me feel nostalgic for Christmas time. But yeah, really good. Obviously, I feel like I have so many repeats of the same products, but that one is just really good. Just have a little mini Dove Advanced Care. This is again, one that I had bought for vacation and then I just used it up. Um, so I will have to purchase another one of these, but really good. It's just the same as like the big one that I normally use, but they just have them in a travel size, thankfully. I have this from Cora Organics. It's the Berry Bright Vitamin C Eye Cream. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember anything about it, so it couldn't have been too great or too bad in any way. Then I have this from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Water Drenched Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. I do remember I actually really enjoyed this. Very similar to the Bliss, but this one leaves almost sort of like a cold, like watery sort of feeling on your skin when you're applying it. So it's very refreshing, especially like in the morning to kind of wake you up. Did really enjoy that. And I would consider purchasing it if it was like on sale or I had some sort of like discount or something like that. Then I also have this from Bumble and Bumble. This is the BB Illuminated Blonde Tone Enhancing Leave-In. I didn't notice that it did any sort of tone enhancing. It smelled really good. The only thing is if I was wearing like a light colored shirt and I sprayed this on my hair, it can kind of spit sometimes and I would get stains of purple and I have to change my shirt. Um, so that was the only thing that I didn't like about this. Right now I'm using like a little one from Pravana. It's the Intense Therapy Leave-In and I find that this is just a much better option. It does basically the same thing. They also have a purple one, which I, I haven't tried the purple one. This is just like the regular like you know uncolored one um so that one was really good and then i'm also using the it's a 10 if you're wondering my, my current hair care but yeah this one was good it smelled really nice did good things for my hair didn't add too much color but could potentially stain your shirt so just be wary if you end up picking up that then we i think the rest of all of this now is makeup so i have this smashbox photo finish primerizer hydrating primer this is just a little mini that i had and i would definitely repurchase it if i was looking for a nice sort of hydrating primer 
Then this is the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. This is just a really basic eyeshadow primer. It's kind of, sort of like a silicone type of feel to it. It's un unpigmented, it's not sticky. It just helps your shadow from creasing. So it's really good actually if you use it on the under eye as well. It helps prevent your concealer from creasing. So if you wanna try that hack out, uh, let me know if it works. Then I have a couple of eyeliners here. I have two of them from ColourPop. This is the pink one in the shade Ducky. And then this is the blue one, which is in the shade Crazy. It's like CRZY. And these are really good. They're just really pretty, you know, colored liners and I would repurchase them. I have pretty much every color of the ColourPop ones. They're super good. They're very, very pigmented and they last really well. And I don't know, I just really like them. They're super easy to apply. They're in like a sort of felt tip pen. So I definitely recommend these and I have repurchased those. Then a couple of lip products. I have the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in the shade Buttered Rum. As you can see, this is my absolute favorite and so much so that I even was like scraping out of it, but it was finally time to let it go. I couldn't get in there unless I had like long nails on to scrape it out. This is my favorite shade. It was like limited edition. The first time they ever came out with this product, it was like for holiday a couple years ago and it came in like a three pack and I, I loved it. This is my favorite one though. It's so, so pretty. I highly recommend these. They also came out with the plumping ones, which I actually have on today. I have mine in the shade Honeysuckle, which is sort of like that Clinique black honey type of color. I really like the plumping ones. Both of them are really good. Um, they both smell like coconut, but this one is just a little bit of that like minty sort of plumping feeling, but I would recommend either of the Maracuja Juicy Lips from Tarte. They're so good. And then I have a little mini Tower 28 Shine on Lip Jelly. And my, this is in Chill, which is just one of the clear ones. I love this formula. My current favorite one, the shade Fearless, which is like that translucent sort of purple color. I don't have it with me right now, but I have so many of these things. They're so good. This is in, is in Cashew, by the way, really pretty nude. I love this formula and I would definitely continue to repurchase them. Probably not the clear because I don't really you know, wear clear too often. I like the, the jelly formula where it has a little bit of a tint, but it's still that sort of sheer look. So I definitely would purchase those, just not in that shade. I would purchase them in different colors. And then this was so good. This is the Huda Beauty Silk Balm in the shade Blush. It was just like a sheer pink. I scraped the edges of this until it was impossible. Like I was applying this, nothing coming out on the brush. I was still putting it on. I was trying to get product out on here. So good. Definitely would repurchase this. I got this in like a Sephora Favorites type of thing. It has like a little bit of a weird smell to it. I don't know if it was just mine, but it smelled like that since the day that I got it. But it was so pretty. It was just had like a beautiful, very light pink flush to the lips and it was so moisturizing so hydrating i would throw this in every bag that i had i would put this on before bed i reapply it throughout the day put it on before work it would last throughout work it was just so good definitely really good and i would definitely repurchase that one it's one of my favorites the lip product i did not like and i didn't even really wear that much this is from rem beauty it's the lip stain marker and i had this in booked and busy which was like a sort of mauve type of shade but this dried out like very quickly and you couldn't put it on top of like if your lips had any sort of product left over like even let's say you put like lip balm on before you do your makeup you wipe the lip balm off even if you put this on it would sort of like like the lip balm would get on it like even though there wasn't any left on your lips it would somehow get on here and then it would dry it out and go on patchy and it was just not very good and obviously it dried out very very quickly i've only used it maybe like less than five times before i had to move it into my empties so definitely wouldn't recommend lip marker i don't know maybe they changed the formula since it launched i bought this at launch so it's been out for quite a while now but i don't know i just i don't think i would recommend that one then a couple of lash products i have this from benefit this is the very real magnet mascara i haven't tried the original very real mascara i don't think um but the magnet one is, is it's pretty good apparently it has like you know magnetic particles in it that magnetize to the brush so when you're applying it the brush pulls it and lengthens your lashes out anymore I don't really know about the science behind it, but it was just, it was a decent, not waterproof mascara. So it was fine. I don't think I would repurchase it though. One that I really do like though, that for non-waterproof is the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. Specifically the volume side, it has like two sides to it. It has like this lengthening side, which is like a sort of more rounded brush. And then it has the volume side, which is pretty dried out obviously because I don't use it anymore like this it's like this hourglass shape and the volume side is so good I wish they just sold that one separately but I did actually repurchase this and I think it's really great so I would definitely recommend this it's the only like non-waterproof mascara that I have that would actually keep my lashes curled and like last throughout the day anytime that I would use non-waterproof mascara it would always like my lashes I would just accept it was a bad lash day and like they would fall it would kind of like flake off but this one I didn't have any issues with and it's actually really really good definitely enjoyed that one have repurchased, would repurchase again, and definitely recommend. 
Then I have the Kiss Falscara, um, like bond and seal. This is really good. I probably could have gotten a couple more uses out of it, but I had to really scrape it. I've been doing my lashes every single week multiple times a week sometimes in the beginning i was doing them like every other like probably every three days but now i can get them to last over a week like these i put on last sunday and today is monday so i've had them on for about eight days now and i feel like they could keep going now that i know how that i could always just reapply one or i have the overnighter serum as well um which helps them last a lot longer so i know how to kind of work the lashes a little bit more but i've gotten a ton of uses out of these and i've been using it for probably about three to four months straight multiple times a week that i was using this so definitely Definitely really good I love this product I feel like I can never go back I love just like waking up and having lashes on it's such a good product I love the kiss falscara set we are getting down to the wire but um, we have this benefit brow micro filling pen this is just one of those sort of like inky like marker type of products that just tints your brows it's really nice for a natural look but I've just been loving using my merit brow gel if you guys are interested in trying anything out from them I do a link to merit down below that is affiliated if you wanted to check it out but this is the brow gel that I just use every single day I haven't even been using like pencil or anything I just put a little bit of brow gel on and it's so good. But since discovering this brow gel, I haven't had to repurchase this, but I have picked up probably, I think two or three of these. I think this is my second one and I have another one somewhere or I don't know, I don't remember, but basically I've used up multiple of these and it's really good. Then I have this from Grande. This is the Grande Primer. And I actually never used this because when I got it, it's like hardened on the inside. So when I went to pull it out, the brush actually broke. So never tried this out, that's why I did my empties because this is just my little thing of trash. Um, but yeah, I have no opinion on that because I did not get to try it. Then next up, I have three concealers. I have this one here from Bare Minerals, which was the Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. Unfortunately, they discontinued this one and they relaunched it as like the Bare Pro Concealer. I previously was wearing shade Fair and for me, like I wasn't just able to find a shade that was like comparable to this. The shade range that they have now, I think is like bigger than the one that they had with this one, but the shades just are kind of off. They're a little bit either too yellow or too pink. So I don't know, I have to reassess that situation um, but yeah this one was really good and I've gone through multiple of these it was like a serum concealer but it actually had decent coverage and it was not dry on my skin at all so I really really enjoyed it then I had this from Tarte this was the hydro sealer and this one was in the shade 14n fair light neutral this was like a super itty bitty tiny thing that I think I got as like a hundred point perk or something from Sephora it was decent you know it was fine I don't think it really did much to be honest um it was like very hard to use sort of because there wouldn't be a lot of product that would come out on the applicator so I'd have to dip in like a thousand times and it just it wasn't a very enjoyable experience I don't I don't know what the full size is like but the mini I don't think is worth it um, and then I have this from elf this is the hydrating camo concealer and I had mine in the shade light ivory this one is really good as you can see I used a uh, basically the entire thing scraping the sides but this was really good and I definitely would repurchase it I just have a couple concealers that I've been loving right now I actually have a mini of the Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer that I'm using. It's like the one of those like super, super tiny ones. Um, I don't even know where it is right now. And then my Merit like foundation type of stick. It's like the Complexion Perfecting Stick. I have them in two shades. I have one in like a concealery foundation color, which I use the shade Silk, which is kind of perfect for me. I have a little bit on my under eyes right now. And then I have the shade Amber, which I use sometimes as like a cream contour. But for my cream contour, I've been loving the Makeup by Mario one. So I haven't been using the Merit one as much. But those are really good. Those are like the basically the only like cover up type of products I've been using. But yeah, the e.l.f. Camo Concealer is really good and I definitely would recommend it. Then I had one more little skincare thing. This is the It Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep Skin Transforming Pillow Cream. This one is really good. It was a very nice like nighttime moisturizer. The only thing is it smells like a lot like lavender. So if you don't enjoy lavender, then you might not like the scent of this but for me it was nice to put on before bed it was very rich but not like greasy feeling so I don't know it was pretty good and if I'm ever looking for another moisturizer to use at night I would definitely consider this one and I would recommend it to people honestly if you're looking for a good night cream and you don't mind the scent of lavender or even if you really like it this was super good then my final two products I have this one from Pat McGrath Labs this is their under eye setting powder and I don't I don't remember sometimes I keep things in my basket that I think are cool that I panned so I don't remember if I had this in my previous update or not but regardless I panned one of these completely used it up this is really good it's in the shade light it's just sort of like a white powder I actually have a one that I've been working on and normally it comes domed but as you can see I've been making quite a bit of progress on this one here um it's really good the packaging wears away super easily though and it's a very dusty powder so you feel like all your money is kind of just 
flying in the wind when you tap it with a brush, but it's fine. It's a really good under eye setting powder. I really enjoy it. One though that I've really been enjoying is this one from Alomar. It's from part of the Hydrating Complexion Trio. I've been using the powder in here to set like my under eyes area and it's really nice because it has like that sort of glow like how the Pat McGrath one does and I definitely think I'm going to bring this with me on my vacation because I also really like the bronzers as well. But yeah, I used up that Pat McGrath and then last product we have is another one of my favorites. It's the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer and I had mine in the shade Honey Drip. This is so good. Um, the only thing is it's a very small pot so you go through it very very quickly. Like this is my Makeup by Mario one that I'm using right now. You can see the difference in size. Yeah, I went through this one very very quickly and also like the depth is pretty much the same as well. So um, it's not even that you get like a lot more product in here or anything or that it's like deeper but you know smaller pan size. Um, I just feel like I went through it really really quickly but I would repurchase this one but honestly I am hooked on this Makeup by Mario one. This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in Light Medium. It is just so good. It has like a little bit slight glow to it as well. I have it on today. I have it on with my Charlotte Tilbury like Glowgasm blush and then just a little bit of the merit stick on my under eye and like that's it for my base and I feel like it just looks so good with the merit brow gel as well and that tart lip like that's my makeup I think it just looks so good but yeah I really really enjoyed that so yeah that was the last item that I had this elf putty bronzer but that is it for my empties video I know it was a huge one it's probably super long because I feel like I talked a lot I'm feeling kind of chatty today um I just feel like I haven't filmed a video in forever so I don't know just having fun with it but if you guys enjoyed watching today's video make sure you like it and subscribe for more videos just like this that is it thank you guys so much for watching again and I will see you in my next video bye guys